Escondido is one of the largest suburban cities outside of San Diego, but it has a really small town feel. Good morning, students. Good morning, Mrs. Peterson. I also think the percentage of second language learners at the school is in the 80 percentile. So there are a lot of challenges that kids come to school with here that have to be addressed in the classroom. And at the time, I was using the iPod and a voice recorder for recording voice memos to remind me to do things. You know, it was just sort of a professional tool that I used. And it dawned on me that, boy, if we could put an iPod Touch in every student's hand in the classroom, this could be a really powerful learning tool. And so we decided we would implement a full grade level of the iPod Touch one-to-one -one classrooms and make that a professional learning community. Let the teachers work together in how they might change their teaching and learning and, and talk about what was happening in classrooms. Double check with a partner to make sure that you have all your spelling. Heather is doing everything from reading practice to blogging with her kids, having them respond to literature on the iPod Touch. She's having them look up a word they don't understand, which for second language learners is huge. I hope that when people come into my classroom that they see the students uh, learning, number one, and number two, having fun. But if you ask the students, they would tell you they're just playing, they're having fun with their iPods. Well, really, they're working on comprehension, they're working on their fluency and recording. Robert seemed to trust him. The stranger couldn't stop watching the geese flying south. With our very initial group of pilot teachers, we saw students within a six week period of time making anywhere between four and six times the fluency gains that they should have in that period of time, what's considered normal. So for example, normal fluency gains are between five and 10 words every six weeks. We had kids making anywhere from 40 to 60 words gain in their fluency in just a six week period of time. That's when we knew we were onto something. We pull them out every day. They're working on comprehension, they're working on their math skills, they're working on their fluency and recording. The doctor said that the stranger lost his memory. For example, Chictionary is a fun application, but they're learning about words as they're doing it and as they're working with the iPods. You have seven letters and your job is to make as many different words as you can in the amount of time available. About seven minutes before library, so what I want you to do is open up multiplication battle. There's a multiplication battle app that they like to play and they can challenge each other. You're battling your friend, but also you're testing how fast you can do your multiplication skills. That is very fun. I've never seen kids so excited to learn their times tables. When the babies went outside to wave goodbye. Okay, let me give an example of what's really incredible. If you ask the students to read a story, a summary on the iPod, they will listen to it and then they will say, you know, that didn't sound so good. I think I need to redo it. And a student would never do that if they read directly to you. So they're becoming in charge of their own learning. And it's no longer you as the teacher telling the students that maybe they did something wrong. It's, it makes, the iPod Touch makes learning positive. The iPod Touch is everything from basic word processing, research on the internet, Google Earth, instead of spending money on globes and maps and uh, calculators and dictionaries and thesauruses, now we can justify the cost of purchasing an iPod for a student. Okay, everybody ready? Let's go. With the iPod Touch, you're constantly thinking of new ways to teach the curriculum and teach standards in a new and exciting, fun way. I know the teachers that now have them, they can't imagine teaching without them now. It is the tool that the students want to use, the teachers want to use. I've been teaching 19 years, and I feel like a new teacher using the iPod Touch. It makes us fun to learn. I do truly believe that the iPod Touch is revolutionizing teaching and learning and has the potential to do that. It's certainly happening in Escondido. <laughs>